<clears throat> hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a little extra stream aside from my usual Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday streams and I'm going to be doing some of the original Supreme Commander campaign. However, I'm going to be doing it in the Forged Lines Forever client, so the balancing will be a little bit different, but this is the easiest way to play it at the moment. So, today I'm planning on doing mission one, which is called Black Earth. It's the first campaign mission for the UEF faction. And it shouldn't take us too long, but I just want to do a quick playthrough, and I think over the coming weeks I will try and go through all the different factions, that being the UEF, the Aeon, and the Cybrans and go through all their campaigns over time. So without further ado, we're going to jump right in. Now the difficulty in FAF's version of the campaigns is turned up from the original version of the game. However, I still suspect that this mission one should be quite straightforward. Listen up, rookie. I know what they taught you at the academy regarding Cybran tactics. But you need to forget all that crap. The Cybrans are no longer running from a stand-up fight, and they're not afraid to come at you with guns blazing. Your predecessor forgot that and paid the price. Start by building some power generators um, and mass I'm just going to check if it's possible to put any sort of closed captioning on for when the people are talking. I don't recall if it is. Um... Don't know why we're on CN for a language. Probably want to be in regular English. Uh, well, okay. Well, apparently we're not changing that right now. Uh, but it doesn't appear to have any sort of captioning, so we're just going to continue as we are. Going to throw down a couple of pigeons. Wants us to build three, but I'm going to stick four down because I want to build a factory next to it. Which I assume will be the next thing that allows us to build. So the original campaigns from the first version of a game like this are very much hand-holding in the sense that they're trying to teach you how to actually play the game. I'm playing unmodded other than a couple of UI mods. So you'll notice the minimap here. If I were, if the map were big enough and I could zoom out fully, the minimap will automatically disappear. I'm going to move it a little bit actually because my face is in the way. There we go. And also I have the ability to set custom targets for priority on units. But other than that, everything is just as standard. I do have a think that my game sounds might be a little bit low, so we're going to turn up just a notch. Still seems slightly low. Let's see if we can't fix this. Put the effects back up to 50. Some to 40. There we go, that seems decent. So I don't remember exactly what happens in this mission. It has been a long time since I've played it. But we've got to build some extra power just because it's handy to have. And then we'll throw down a little radar. And even more power. And then how many tanks do we want? Just three tanks. We'll go for five just to be on the safe side. No upgrades we can get on the commander yet. So again, this mission probably won't take too long, I suspect, unless the difficulty is ramped up way harder than I think. I haven't actually played all of the missions from the original game in the FAF client. So we'll have to see how that turns out. Get a bunch of engineers so we can buff up the factory speed after this. Okay. 
Well, we might even throw down a little turret just in case. Good. Now take your tanks and destroy that Cybran radar. There's a couple of units defending it, but your tanks should make short work of them. Operation area expanded. Oh. Well, so we might have put the turret on the wrong side of the base, but that's alright. And we've got an extra factory as well, just because we can, and we might need it later. Gonna get up to five tanks, I think, before I go and engage this. Okie dokie. Let's get in a formation. And let's move in for the attack. Oh, there are any hunters, so this will be a pretty straightforward fight. Take out mass extractor. And we'll take out the power plant as well. Move the tanks back for some defense, and we've got some more space to play with. Okay, so we're gonna get, I think, three anti air guns should be nice. Another five tanks, and then a couple more anti airs. Let's roll with that. Some more assistance on the commander. We're gonna send this engineer over here. And we're going to send this engineer over there. And when they're done, they can both come back. In the meantime, let's take these tanks down and clear out that mass extractor. Cool stuff. We'll move Commander to the front to help with that. And we'll get five artillery from here. And we'll have all the engineers go and help. forward turret just to be safe and we'll throw a little scout out after this so we can go take a look at what's going on so one of the differences that does happen on some missions but not all is that with the FAF client, sometimes the missions, if you take too long, will automatically proceed to the next bit, even if you've not completed the current objective. I think it's there to prevent you from just, like, building up a giant army right at the first stage of the mission. Don't know if that's the case on this mission. However, we're going to play along, assuming that we don't want to spend forever here. Okay, what did our scout find? Not too much. Mass extractors and some power plants. Not sure what killed him. Should have been paying more attention. Okay, we're going to move our pretty sizable army at this point over there. I'm going to send my commander over here to build another turret to stop any sneaky people trying to run by and get this mechs at some point. And then he can just patrol for any reclaim that happens to be around.
Okay, let's... Okay, we don't need everyone to go back. Let's just move up. These walls are a bit of a nuisance, but I'm sure we can manage. Oh, some bombers. Anti-air should take care of that nicely. Losing a little bit, but it's alright. Yeah, let's see if we can navigate this smoothly. Some mantises, which is the primary battle tank of the Cybrans. Take out all these little pigeons. And keep on pushing. Then I think we'll get the commander over here to build this mass extractor. Keep on pushing up. We need to go destroy an air factory. I'm sure we can manage this. Now we don't have radar coverage over here, so we don't know exactly what's going on, but I think we've taken out most of his forces already. We'll knock off the power gems, and then we'll get rid of the factory itself. Oh, well, we might accidentally kill the factory whilst we're killing the power gems, but that's fine. And then we're going to move our forces back over here. Not bad, rookie. But don't let it go to your head. Make one mistake and the Cybrans will tear you apart. Last, there's another cyber commander. I'm gonna deal with them. The rest of this op is yours. I'm leaving you with some reinforcements. Oh. There are a few steps above your pay grade. We're getting that given some tech two units, that's nice. We're not allowed to build our own ones yet, but oh, well he said we're getting them. Oh, there we go. Ignore his psycho babble. Okay, we'll form these guys up over here. We'll stick down one more turret. And then we'll tell our commander to go grab all these extra mass extractors. Meanwhile, we'll move the waypoint over there. We'll get our main army, which is a big chunk now, all formed up on the front lines. I think we might be getting a bit too much anti-air in here though, so we're going to knock those down a peg, knock off one tank there and one tank there. Yeah, she'll knock off two tanks there. There we go. That should be a bit better. We'll get a bit more artillery dynamics. Move these heavy units up a bit more as well. What have we got? We've got a couple we've got four tech two pillar heavy tanks. We've got four flat jack mobile missile launchers and a single little skyboxer who's our flak tech two anti air. Nice little combination. So I think what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to, where are we, we could do with some more forward intel. So I'm going to take one of these engineers and move him further forward and get a new radar. Actually let's bring all the engineers, I think the factories are building enough on their own. We'll move forward a bit more again. Keep pushing in. I think we probably have enough units to win this mission already, but, you know, better safe than sorry and all that, right? And we've done this. We'll scoot on back over here. Now, we're overflowing mass, which is never a good thing to be doing in a regular game. I should probably have, like, tons more factories and stuff, but we'll figure that out. What I might do is just build, like, a big old line of factories after this. There we go, we've got some vision now, so I think these flapjacks will be in range of this. So we're going to get some missiles flying out. 
Gonna grab our main army. Scoot it away down here. Set the rally point down. Oh, I think it's getting a bit confused because of these guys in the back. So let's... Um, there you go. Just get down there. You don't need to move in formation. Commander is coming back over. I think he can probably come all the way down here and steal that map. Mex extractor. Mech, uh, mass extractor, sorry. We'll move our heavy guys down as well. Pushing out some extra factories to spend all this mass we've got. We've got some point defense turrets down here, so we don't want to get too close. But we should be able to take them out if we use our missile launchers. There we go. Give them some targets and let them shoot away. What's going on here? Why are you guys not moving? Come on. Occasionally units get a little bit stuck and you just have to Spam a bunch of commands out, and eventually they usually figure themselves what they're supposed to be doing. So we've still got plenty of power, we're not worried about that at all. I think we might actually move these guys up even further. And these guys can move up a little bit more as well. Hopefully that's still out at the side of turret range. And then we can focus down any remaining turrets. Although we should also be able to use the artillery from these guys to focus down turrets because they also outrange it. I'm going to grab one more little point defense. We've got some combat going on. We're going to push in. Although we seem to be having some frame rate issues. I usually run with a performance mod. I might need to re-enable that in the future. Because this is a little bit laggy. Sadly, this is one of those games that was built in the day when the expectation was we'd be getting really high um, clock speed on our CPUs as opposed to multiple cores. So it doesn't take the best advantage of having a lot of CPU cores. Okay, we've got a bunch more factories on the line now. We're gonna just have these guys patrol around and grab any reclaim that might be needed. Or they can assist with factories building or do whatever they want basically. So these guys are a bit worried about being able to hold out. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my tech two tanks and send them all over there to assist. And we're going to unselect the Tech 2s and move down to here with our Tech 1 army to apply some pressure. And then my commander is going to move over this way and see what's going on. Ooh, my commander can get some upgrades now. So we might actually grab those just for the fun of it. Why not? Let's make a commander strong, shall we? Commander, we have a light artillery installation available, but we don't have enough power to fire it. The Cybran has some Tech 2 power generators to the far west. If you can capture one of them, we can tap into your grid and fire the weapon. I like it. Go capture one of those Tech 2 power generators. So our allies holding out fine for now, but we're still going to go down and make sure we can help them out. And then we've got a little bonus objective to go over here, so I think that's what my commander might do. 
Oh, I seem to have made a bit of a mess here, though. Come on, guys. I think we might grab these two factories and have them rally over here. Whilst we send these five factories down to help the front line. And then we'll stick these guys behind that line to make sure... Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> They've got a heavy artillery unit. I thought they were talking about a T2 one. That's a big boy. Ooh, we're actually burning our energy though. So what we might do is we might turn off this radar. Because we're not really using that one up in the back anymore. We're not even really using this one much to be honest. So let's just stop both those radars. I think what we're going to do is we're going to grab this guy. Where do we want a radar? Hmm. Let's see, we clearly have radar from our allies over here. But we don't know what's going on down here, so radar over there would be nice. Sadly, our commander can't build radars, which is a bit inconvenient. But I'm actually going to leave these guys doing what they're doing for now, because the trees contain energy, so they're getting us some reclaim. Then what I might do when the commander's finished is build a couple of extra power plants around this just to supplement our income. It seems like we're all safe over here. They haven't launched any more attacks. Commander has nearly finished his upgrade. Those upgrades. He's already got the enhanced gun. This makes him repair faster. So you see his regen goes from 10 to 50 per second. Makes him a lot stronger and harder to deal with. So this is quite the force we've got here. I think we might even try and move this group of units in a bit. And see if we can break the front line. If not, we've got more units coming in, so we'll have a replenishment for this force. Oh, we've got plenty there, but we've got plenty of anti-air as well. So these bombers get shot down. And I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. Our guys are getting a bit sideways. Can we, can we get in position, guys? You're sitting there taking a lot of fire and you're not doing much. Just move on in. Come on. This is quite a fortified position. I'm not sure if we're going to break it. But I'm suddenly finding the game to be rather loud, actually. When all is said and done, I think that's probably the effects are a bit high. Ah, we're getting anti-air of our own now. That's nice. Well, I think I'm a bit ahead of them there. I already have enough. Some stuff going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to come... We'll come over here or something and build an air factory. We'll cover it in power completely because air factories tend to use quite a lot of energy.
Huh. Walls again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my commander and just reclaim a path through these walls. Because he reclaims walls qu rather quickly. So we'll just clear them out and ease up our pathfinding. There we go. Nice and straightforward. The walls would have been a bit of a nuisance if the commander wasn't there. And slowly rebutting our front force again. Should hopefully be enough to stop them from pushing out. And our commander's making a valiant push in with his gun upgrade and some backup. So obviously he's got tons of health and a lot of regen so he's not too afraid of a couple of tanks. Move these guys down, move the commander across. Just going to use the commander to clear out all the little power generators and then we'll capture these big ones. And we're going to send this army down here. Clear out power. Come and capture all three of these and see if we can't get this big um, duke online to give us some fire support. In the meantime, let's send these guys down there. We can grab all the factories and have more going here now, because we don't need any more support forces down the right. Oh, down the left, sorry. And we can throw out a couple of spy planes. Uh, scout planes, sorry. Oh dear. Commander, why did you kill it? That wasn't supposed to happen. Not sure what happened there. Might have right clicked accidentally instead of click giving them a reclaim order. Hopefully capturing two of them will be enough. You guys go and barricade this side passageway. And then we'll send... Let's see. Send planes in this way maybe try and get some scouting done if they can manage it. Let's see what we can see. Ah, we found his commander. Let's grab these guys and actually get them in a formation, shall we? I think we're just going to build a load of bombers. Oh, seems like he had the same thought. How are we doing here? So we're still slowly capturing it. Perhaps I should send my engineers down to help with the capturing process. Get him to go help the commander. Oh, what are you doing back there? Oh, you got stuck, did you? Come on. There we go. Let's sort out the formation. Get a little artillery in range. What's going on? I'm guessing that's online now because we captured the power plant or something? Maybe? Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Hmm. 
Maybe I need more. We'll capture the other one as well and see what happens. Maybe I needed all three of them. But it seemed like it was indicating that I was good. Oh, we're getting shot at. So move this little back force in a bit further. Yeah, see this is a problem with not having any um, radar coverage. We've got their own artillery shooting at us and we can't see it. Oh, there we go. Big cannons firing now. So we're going to move these guys forwards because they seem pretty safe there. So we're going to try and box them in a bit more. Got guys around the back. Got bombers coming out still. We're definitely taking some punishment down the back though. We're going to grab a bit of mass on the way to help out. There we go. We can reclaim the buildings that have been killed and recycle them into some extra resources for yourself. Well, our back army seems to have been wiped out, sadly. Oh, and that's his commander. Oh, he did not appreciate that, did he? Okay, let's see what we can do. Let's try and move a block over here. Move a block over there. Let's get them all trapped in, shall we? Then we'll bring our commander around the back and see if we can't apply a bit of pressure. And maybe bring the bombers in as well. Uh, getting a bit too close to the turrets for very good. Cleaned up all that mass. And now we're nice and full on resources again. Not overflowing though, luckily we're... Oh, I don't know, we're kind of on the on the cusp of overflow. I mean, if we do nothing, we're probably going to win anyway just in this big guy, but we'll see. Oh, look at our damage. Okay, I think we're going to push in before there's nothing left for us to do actually. Let's get that in, let's get that in, and let's grab these guys down the middle and push them in as well. And then in the meantime we'll pull these guys up a bit more so the missiles can get in range of things. And the commander's still slowly pushing down the side. What we might do actually is throw down a little radar here. Just to make sure we've got intel around the back of his base. So it seems like that left hand side seems to have taken a bunch of damage. So let's see if we can't push in a bit more on these sides. Take the heat off. Push in a little bit more from behind with the heavy tier units. Keep those missiles firing. Oh, we've got his commander here. Not sure if we have enough to kill the commander, but we can try. Ah, I know. Let's get those bombers on his commander. Offer some fire support from behind. Get a turret down here, make sure no one escapes from the back. Here come the bombers, let's see what we got. Heading for a bit more to be honest, but we'll make do. Make 
sure we've got everyone in range of the commander. And then, let's pull up over here. Just wander in all casually like, and just stop taking some pot shots. Are you guys in? Are you guys in? Are you guys in? Oh, this commander's going to go down soon. And we will, however, lose a lot of our army doing this. Because they go pop. Luckily, I think we didn't lose our high tier units over here. But we lost all of our army that was in the middle. So that's something you have to be careful of. sends her congratulations for successfully completing your first mission. And that is the first mission of the campaign. So that was a little playthrough we did. I just want to take uh, just a little mission each day I'm thinking that we'll push through. We got all of the primary objectives and all the bonus objectives. You can see a reflection of our score, different units and resources, the rate at that we were getting things, although that doesn't seem right. We had a lot of mass extractors. We should have been getting more than three per um, tick. We did take quite a lot of losses. <laughs> but I think we lost more than we killed by a considerable margin. <laughs> But nevertheless, we were assaulting a base, so it was an entrenched position. So, on that note, I'm going to actually call it for today. This was just a very short stream, just to play through one mission. I'll be playing through another mission on Wednesday. I'm thinking of doing Mondays and Wednesdays for the missions, so we'll go through two missions a week, and then we'll slowly burn through the campaign. It's possible that in the later missions, these streams will become a lot longer because some of the missions definitely get a lot harder than this and it might even require multiple attempts. But for now, that will do us. And thank you for anyone that was watching and enjoy this video.